alkaline. As I go, I won't let no one. <laughs> I'm just drowsy in general. I'm so freaking sleepy right now. So I came to get the drip because I wanted to try it out. And with all my travel, I just want to make sure that I'm not depleting myself and just making getting sick and all the things. So I had originally scheduled to get, what was it called? The something. I forget the name of it. But there's so many options that are off offered that I didn't know which one I wanted. So after talking to the nurse, I decided on, what's it called? the post-op one, which she said it includes everything, essentially, except for folic acid. She recommended folic acid, but that was going to be an additional $45. And I said, hold on a second. Hold up. How much is this post-op one, first of all? And she said $250. I said, let's go ahead with the post-op and let me see how this stuff feels before you start adding other stuff, okay? So you fill out all these paperwork and things like that. And I've, I've seen these drips on television, heard of them in life, and thought, I want to give it a try, but de definitely now, just to, again, make sure that I don't crash and burn kind of thing, because this is a busy month for me. So I did it and my arm felt really cold, like just cold. And it was freezing in there, which I don't like. That place is freezing. I don't like that. And I was like, can I get a blanket? They did give blankets, but the blankets weren't, weren't enough. I was freezing. Thankfully, I have great veins and she used a big enough needle where the fluid was pushed into my body quickly. So the drip itself was maybe 25, 30 minutes, but it took, my pump was at two. It took until about 2.45 to get started. I don't understand because the paperwork I had to fill out, I wish that they would just allow for that filling out to take place online because it just wasted time and then they did the blood pressure first and what else did he do he did blood pressure and a temperature check and then i was just waiting because they were mixing the drip apparently they don't do the drip until you show up just so it doesn't go to waste and i'm like okay so i get it i guess i feel so sleepy i don't have a lot of energy right now i need to eat because to be honest i have not eaten all day today which is crazy right just busy day for me so i'm gonna get something to eat right now on the way home i'm so sleepy so freaking sleeping it ain't even funny like for real i'm gonna sleep early today so yeah she, they said it will take one to two days to feel the effects of it that i should feel energized mental clarity i don't even know and i'm thinking okay i wonder what that feels like i don't know <laughs> so i look forward to actually seeing if i can tell and then i can do monthly drips if I so please. So they had a discount. So it's originally 250. There's a discount, I think 25% off for new people. So it came out to 186. And then if I do the monthly drip, minimum of three months, then it's 150 a month. So we'll see. And it's any drip that I want. My my right hand is feeling a little bit cold. And she said, because I did the IV on my my hand. Good morning, another day, another trip. <laughs> Welcome to my life. I'm not mad about it. I always have to go through this walkway right here to A. It is quite a journey every single time. So this place is chaotic and every time I come through TSA pre-check, I thank the Lord that I did it years ago because this is such a huge lifesaver. If you don't have pre-check, I don't understand how you're making it through the world. I mean, you're gonna make it, but the way the stress and the pressure is, when you get here and you <laughs> you see the regular line and the pre-check line, jai, 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 jai. And of course, grab global entry instead, because it comes with pre-check. Because the customs line, jai, mm -mm. even that is scary. So anyway, here I am now walking to my gate, and I am so glad that I had the, uh, my, I don't know if I had my sound on, but the American Airlines, bleep, bleep, something was going off an hour before the, an hour before something. I don't even know, actually, you know, I think about it because the flight's at seven something and it went up at 3.30, thank God, because that is how I woke up from that bleep, bleep. <laughs> All I can say is bleep, bleep, I don't know what else to say, but it went off and I was like, oh my God, I gotta get up. But my plan was to get up at two to film a YouTube video. <laughs> Uh, uh, 2 a.m. get ready with me but that didn't work out so thank god that that uh, app went off because i got up at 3 30 and my uber was scheduled for 4 30 a.m girl mm. so i washed i showered washed my hair did my hair i can't even really see because i got my unavailable uh, sunglasses on <laughs> i did my hair did my makeup i mean i was done in the nick of time like 29 and the guy was like i'm outside 
so I made it here. I'm not rushing at all, thankfully. I like to get here a little early. I doubt the lounge is open. We're just gonna go sit down, get coffee, and go chill, but girl. Oh my god. Yo, waking up late on a flight day. Like I woke up like Jesus. I mean, that's the first word I keep I had but I need my eyes to um, get used to the time to just see like okay, what time is it? How much time did I have? What time is it Uber? Like I had to quickly get you know, like get your brain on on task or just to just to understand. And then I was like Okay, I gotta get up now, and I got ready. So I made it, and now I'm out of breath holding this, holding this tripod is giving me an arm workout. But yeah, I'm in my uniform, my usual airport uniform. I love wearing brown because it matches my skin, duh. And then my black Amazon rib leggings, and then my white sneakers because I can throw these in the, in the washing machine so easily, and they come out spick and span with obviously soap and bleach. And my carry on, and I have my two checked back because hello. But yeah. As you know, we're going to Antigua, Antigua, Antigua. I don't know if it's pronounced both ways. Oh, I'm a little out of breath right now. Oh, praise the Lord. I'm excited about that. My oh, arm is tired. Let's tell you that. To the bathroom, I got another coffee because I'm cold, and this will help suppress my appetite. I don't plan on eating right now. The flight from here to Antigua, I think it's three hours. I'm gonna pay the weight. Ooh, I just realized that I did not pack any sleep. No, I do have that. They're my suitcase. Okay, I'm gonna transfer some of the slim. I keep calling them some gins of beef. What do they call them? Jer beef jerky? I'm gonna transfer some of the jerky from my carry on to my backpack because the carry on goes to the top and I'm not gonna be able to reach it. So that when I get hungry and when I get snack on that, I have my coffee. Then I got this $10 water. I got it because it looked cute. This thing was eight something, but you know me. If you don't know right now, I round up, okay? So I got this cute water. It was basically ten dollars, and I got this coffee. And the coffee was I think seven dollars, something like that. And my my total was seventeen. So my sister, I was thinking seventeen something. Tamika already got forty dollars at Wendy's. <laughs> What's happening now? I need coffee. But here we are. I'm so glad I have in my belly button, but because of the tightness of these leggings, I just know that it would be closing if I didn't have arms. But yeah, I'm excited about Antigua. Antigua or Antigua? I don't know. I'm excited about it. It's these kind of shades. These are definitely on my belly button. They don't know they see me. Sunglasses. Link below because you need them. I like the one that has yellow frame too. I have those. Love that as well. These are very much unavailable. Not able to speak, you know? And then you can look around and don't know what you're looking at. I love that. <laughs> you could be looking dead at somebody and they don't realize that. I like it because I don't want to be caught staring at somebody and I also don't want to be stared at. Although the, the crazy part about it is that. And I even do this too. Whenever I see someone in your indoors with sunglasses, I immediately look at them. <laughs> so it attracts looks, but I don't care. It, but when you're looking, then I can also be looking and you won't even know. That's the part. That's, that's the whole point. You know? Shout out to Akiba. I met her in, in uh, what's that, immigration? I get them confused. Immigration, the line. She was very sweet. And she's like, are you a YouTuber? I was like, what? 
And she's like, are you a YouTuber? And I was like, oh my God. She, so she gave me a hug. She was so sweet. I was like, what? Not me being uh, not me being available with my unavailable glasses on. So funny. But she was sweet though. I didn't mind. It was just so funny because I'm thinking, do I look that obvious? I guess I do. I mean, you know somebody with how they look. It don't matter. Black sunglasses on or not. But yeah, that is so sweet. I'm like, what a small stinking world. But I'm glad that these parts are free. So I'm going to get my stuff right. Oh, I think that's my bag, actually. Yo, so crazy, right? So I knew on the airplane there was a guy that had on a full arm fatigue mask. And I thought, it's mad. How? Why does he have it on? And then just now, as he walked out, there were cameras on him. And I asked one of the handlers, who is that and why they're making music for him? And they said he's the, it's Alkaline. Some Jamaican artist. I don't know who that is. And apparently there's a, a concert happening here soon. So interesting. I did not know who that was. He's a first class on our flight. Hmm. What do you know? You just never know who you're around. <laughs> Fingers up on a bang on him. Lele ho, lele ho, yeah. Tobalo ko macho, yeah. Tobalo ma ko macho, yeah. Nobody know tomorrow. Choro ka choro. And if a boy feel macho, make him look red. This part that I'm reading right now, I'm, I'm reading Healing the Soul of a Woman. <clears throat> and this part right now is so, it's for me. It definitely is a message for me because for the past few months I've been feeling, I mean, honestly, if I look at it for a while, I've been feeling extremely stressed. It's not even just the past few months. But let's just narrow it down to the past few months, feeling extremely overwhelmed and stressed. And this sentence, or two sentences, reads, I believe our energy actually increases greatly when we are at rest in our souls. I hope you can hear me with, with all these rolling trees and have a turn, internal peace. I don't know any other way to get rid of the stress we experience today other than learning to trust God at all times and all things. And that is so true because as I think back to even yesterday, for instance, when I was very stressed and felt overwhelmed to the point of tears, I just needed to just release somehow. What could I have done differently? I could have prayed and I did not pray. I could have prayed and I should have prayed and I will have to work on remembering to pray to pray and to, as First Peter 5, 7 says, cast me care. <clears throat> I just have to pray. It's easy to say that in, in, the, in the thick of what's happening, I don't always remember to do that. I need to remember to do that. This is so peaceful. Even though I'm right across from the staff on the door, so there are a lot of people coming in now. This is so peaceful. I'm going to stop right there. Normally I like to read a lot, but that little section right there was enough for me. I don't feel like I need to ingest or force down so much more. That, is, that alone is weighty and meaty enough that I can just stop there and I want to ponder that all day today. It's a simple reminder because I've read this verse again and again for several years. Cast your cares because he cares for you. Cast your cares on God because he cares for me. Pray and trust God in all things at all times. It's so easy to say, but in the, in the heat of the moment, <clears throat> or the heat of the evening, challenging to actually remember to do. So God help me. Oh, okay, this is 
sweet and low? Okay, all right. Do I do it myself or do I give it to you? If you want me to do it for you, I can. Okay, perfect. I'd like a um, latte. The triple is strong, huh? Yeah. A full <laughs> yeah. I've never had it. I want to try it. Okay. Am I going to feel jittery? Put in, the, put in the three of this in the triple one? Yes, please. And then is it just one size? Yeah, okay. one full cup. Okay, all right, let's do it. And then uh, what kind of milk? Is it cream or? We have full cream, some skim, skim, almond, so. Cream is good. Okay. All you, right. Oh, you want some milk inside of it. Oh, you were going to do a sh um, like, a, like a shot, but triple. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I want it to be a latte, but triple. And you want a latte instead, but more coffee than triple. Milk. Can you do it like that? Yes. Am I confusing you? Sorry. No, no. Okay. <laughs> like with cream, yeah. Okay, thank you. Call me bank on it, cause I walk around with the bank on him. Show them gang numb star, put the gang on him. Twist my fingers up on a bang on him. Lele ho, lele ho, yeah. Tobalo ko macho, yeah. Tobalo ma ko macho. Nobody know tomorrow, choro ka choro. And if a boy feel macho, make him look red like a tomato. If him not dead, then he come at us. No, go fambo. As the day comes, as I go on, God don't watch over me, oh Lord. I cannot trust my. Water is very comfortable. Oh yes, honey. Oh yes. Vibes on vibes. The bungalows are over there. One day I'm gonna be in a bungalow. That place is mad expensive. Per night is insane. But listen, me too. Me too. I'm a person. Me too. Me a person. <laughs> so we're gonna be up in there. You feel me? just to clean it because it's humid out here and it was you could tell on the camera it was annoying me good morning it's friday and it is day three two and a half but day three and it is just so peaceful out here it's warm yes it is warm it's so peaceful at night though it's so uh the weather cools down so much that for me i even feel a little bit cold a little bit cold even being in the pool last evening late and it wasn't too sunny and we get out it's like oh my god i'm freezing that's just me now you might be someone who gets really hot all the time and then that will not be your experience but for me i was like boy is mad cold not like what i would cold but you get what i'm saying it's just so peaceful and so nice yesterday i went to the pool and you saw that it was beautiful too late but it was still nice and then uh Let's see, came back, went to the Korean restaurant, but it was not good. There was a group there, I think they were from New York, I don't know. They did not, they were not happy. And, and their sentiments were right, I have to be honest. You know, it's all cruise resort, resort. We get that they're going to give us the cheapest of the cheap, right? But when I compare it to Mexico and Jamaica, even for instance, last week, it's like different, even the level of service. This room gives you, it comes with a butler. It's my first time having a butler. There's two of them, and they're really, they're really chill. And that's been nice. Other than that, it's like, 
like at the restaurant. It, I mean, I got here late today. I was late for my reservation. But still, similar to the bar yesterday, the Diamond Club bar at the pool, they were closing in an hour. So it was giving very much we're closing vibes. It wasn't giving, how can I help you? What can I get for you? We're closing up, so what else do you need? That kind of know. It was very much like, got you one drink and then we left you alone because we're focused on closing. And then yesterday, it felt like the same thing where it was nine. Well, it was late. So it was like 9.30. 15 and they were closing at 10 and maybe that was the problem i don't know but even the food wasn't good that other that other group was complaining and even i was like what the hell i mean the room service is nice but the burgers be dry and i get the burger no bottom baby like that dry and there's no seasoning i know this is in Jamaica too but at least like some of the stuff that's seasoning here it feels like nothing has seasoning and that's a problem for me. It's like people like seasoning on their food. I don't want to have to have food and then now I'm putting salt in it afterward. Yeah, I guess I can do that, but that's not what I pay for. So I'm just saying, just let me know in case you are wanting to come. That's something that you consider because the, the big group of women that were next to me, they were complaining. They were laughing, they were having a good time, but they were complaining. They were complaining about the service. They were complaining among, among themselves, and I don't blame them. And then the food, they were like, yeah, they were not pleased. Okay. The good thing is that I don't live to eat, I eat to live, and I'm on keto, so when I do eat, it's not a lot. I don't want to eat a lot. I want to shred and I want to be healthier anyway, so I don't think about food. I don't, that doesn't move me or shape me. But when I do eat it, dang, I do want it to be freaking good, right? Because I don't eat a lot of it, so when I do, it's like, what the heck? So that's why I mentioned that. Let's see, the beach is really pretty. It's small. The bungalows look so nice. I would love to be a bungalow one day. Someday soon, we'll see. I just love all the nature, even the water. I have not gone into this pool up like here yet, but that is definitely going to be on the agenda today. And yeah, I feel good. I feel like I'm losing weight. I don't know how. I don't know how. My diet and my exercise, that's, like, that's all I can say. But like, I can see it. I feel I feel good. I feel good. Yesterday I had on a thong swimsuit, but that first time. And I was like, I And I felt confident in drugs I am. So that is always a plus. That is always a plus. So I'm here on the patio. I have my iPad again. I'm, going to, I'm listening to the video on YouTube. Grace for this is Grace for Purpose, right? It is. There'd be so many different ones. Oh, this is Grace Wins. Okay, it sounds the same. I'm listening to Grace Wins on my phone. The YouTube video. This one is God is bringing all things together for your good. Inspirational and motivational. I love that. And I have my iPad. I'm gonna do my reading and I go over to my Good Notes app. And I'm going I'm opening it up right now. No, no, not good notes. Excuse me. Oh, I moved things around so this is not in the same order. Okay, this is messing me up. You know, you have stuff in the same order and you go press it, and if something moves, it's a problem for you. I'm that person. Okay, so yeah, I'm reading, I'm doing the Confident Woman Devotional from Joyce Meyer, and then I have this book I told you, Healing the Soul of the Woman. So I'm going to do a little reading on those, on those two and then go from there. Maybe you don't know what you do to me, between me and you, I feel a chemistry, I won't let no one come and take your place, cause the love you give, you can't be replaced, so no one else do, Okay, I like this one, uh, okay, needs to. Yeah, I like the. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah, I like the color. I'll do this one. She'll like it. Yeah. Thank you. Hibiscus. Oh, I didn't know that. So this is the national flower. Yeah. Okay, I want this one. Okay, so I just stopped into this diamond store to see to get some AC. Apparently, this is a big cruise stop location. I didn't know that, and that this is off season. Their busy season is November to April. I had no idea. So it's very quiet around here, which I'm not mad about, but this is their slow season apparently. So food for thought, good to know. Cheaper accommodations and travel, I guess, because it's off season. That's what I'm understanding. But interesting spot. Uh -huh. You want to subscribe? They are so funny. Are you on YouTube? Can I can I subscribe? I'm like thinking, boy, my channel is not for children, okay? <laughs> it's not for the little kids, but you can say hi. <laughs> say hi to the boss. I'm 
so annoyed that I cannot download the original footage that I took from the concert that night and I also can't find it on my GoPro so this is what I got. This was so stinking fun. It was what felt to me like an authentic Caribbean Jamaican concert. I loved every single thing about it. I was in the VIP close enough to the stage. I knew one or two of the Alkaline songs. There was barely anything. Having Doing keto just is just difficult depending on where I go, but the vibe was so good. There was a man in the audience with a torch. It was just a vibe all around. Loved it. Loved it. Yesterday I did not go to the gym like I was supposed to. <laughs> so I put back on the same outfit and yes, I'm going to go to the gym today. I'm headed to the coffee shop first, however, because you know coffee is important to me early in the morning. And look at the breeze blowing. I can smell myself. I used the Nest oil, Nest New York oil this morning and then I put on top of it. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> I didn't make it to the gym yesterday, so I put this back on again. I'm going today. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> and so I have on my um, Lancome Edole. Oh, wait, this is the area where the buffet is. Oh, I don't want them all looking at me when I hold the camera. I still get like a little bit. Ooh, hold on. It may have just caused the scene. I'm not really sure, but here we are. Okay. So, yeah, the grounds are so pretty. I gotta go get my coffee because, you know, like that's just a thing that I do. It's just what I live by. And then it suppresses my hunger. So, why not? What else am I gonna do? Yeah. So, we're gonna go to the coffee shop. Do that. Give me espresso, honey. It tastes so bitter and like rough but i know because it's strong that's why anyway i finished the video oh i didn't my computer so forget it i do have my ipad though i do have a little thing a few things i need to do because there's always something that needs to be done and then i'm gonna go to the gym and then we're gonna see what the day brings today i didn't realize that this is carnival carnival antigua's carnival time the late the the waitress said something about FET. I don't know what FET is, but she said it's FET time. And there are lots of different events happening. I have no I, I had no idea. No wonder why there was not not there was. No wonder why Alkaline was at the airport. <laughs> Which mind you, I had no idea who he was. And I know one song that I did not know who was rapping it, singing it, and it's him. So I am familiar with Alkaline, but I didn't know at that time. And I'm so irritated that I ended up in the video. I ended up in the promo video from the airport. I had no clue what was going on. <laughs> and then y'all kept sending it to me. I'm like, what? Oh, it's foggy. I hate this. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> keloided scar just fyi it's part of the reason why i'm doing the scar therapy because that is an inconvenience So carbs put on weight, you know, so whether it's orange juice or it's bread, in the body it turns into carbs and it puts so on weight. So I eat anything except the carbs. So, so I eat a lot of fat. No, not usually, no, because it's protein. 
So I'll do the cheese for fat. It keeps me full. Keto is, so basically the, okay, so a standard diet, you get full off of the carbs, right? Like bread, rice, it makes us full. On keto, what makes me full is cheese, avocado, oil, butter. So it's the fat. So it changes your body and how your body processes the food. And you lose weight because you're now, you're not going to be burning the bread, you're burning the fat because you, you're eating fat. You're eating more fat. So it makes you lose weight. And then uh, can I have some of the jerk chicken, please? Be careful with the diabetes because it can make you lose your eyesight, your limbs. I only developed it when I was pregnant with my first Oh, one. okay, gestational. Okay, okay, but that tends to go away. Did it go away? It tends to go away. That yeah. one is like a pregnancy thing. Okay. Yeah, but then uh, just like a couple of weeks ago, I realized I started to feel dizzy when I went to the hospital. High blood pressure. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I'm trying to just eat. Yeah. Right. Yeah, no, it's, Get back it's my arm. yes. Hello, yeah, food is, is oh, it's very sweet. The food is really good, but once you discipline yourself, you realize wow, you feel better because food is delicious until it starts to kill you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, it's very serious. Oh, yeah, I'm cheering you on. I'll be rooting for you. Sure, yeah, I mean, uh, let me do the juicy part. So, what a thigh or a drumstick? You haven't had mine. Oh, you let me know. Okay, thank you. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right, here's what I got. Burger with two cheeses, salad, that's blue cheese. I'm gonna try it, jerk chicken, and then some jerk sauce. Let's try that out. Hopefully it doesn't have any sugar in it. Don't get the time, buddy.